हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड वीडियो ऑन द सेम कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ न्यूमेटिक कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट द नोजल एम्पलीफायर एंड आल्सो द एयर रिले एंड द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फ्लैपर नोजल एम्पलीफायर विद द एयर रिले टू गेट द रिक्वायर्ड आउटपुट प्रेशर ओके सो बट अर्लियर टू सिस्टम्स वेयर ओपन लुक टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम्स देर वॉज नो वे टू कंट्रोल द आउटपुट ऑफ द सिस्टम but now we are going to see that uh, uh, with a uh, closed loop type of system because in most of the practical application we always need to have a control over the output and to have the control over the output it is required that we should have a feedback path which will continuously monitor the output value and depending upon that output value the controller can take the required action on the actuator so therefore the uh, this type of control uh, pneumatic control should also consist of a feedback path just like uh, amplifier uh, operational amplifier applications that we have seen so those can never be used without a feedback path they are usually used with the feedback path similarly here also we are going to use this with the feedback path okay so now another problem uh, of lapper nozzle amplifier is its sensitive sensi sensitivity variation it can be easily seen from earlier equation that the output p not is dependent on the supply pressure then orifice diameter and the nozzle diameter any variation of the supply pressure will affect its sensitivity moreover accumulation of dirt at the nozzle or at the orifice will alter the sensitivity as a result some measure is needed to reduce this parameter dependence of the sensitivity use of feedback is an effective method of reducing the variation of the sensitivity flapper nozzle amplifier are also used uh, with the this type of closed loop type of system okay so and also we can draw an analogy with the operational amplifier in this aspect operational amplifiers are always used in closed loop a typical application of lapper nozzle application with feedback for measurement of pressure and converting the signal in terms of air pressure variation is shown below here okay so here we can see that uh, system with the feedback okay so uh, this is the uh, that flapper nozzle part okay so this area is the flapper nozzle part and this is the air relay part now together this is the actual working system and here we are providing this path as the feedback okay so this is the feedback path so already we have seen how with the combination of that air relay the uh, working is obtained here okay so basically depending upon the nozzle uh, position here okay so the pressure here is controlled and that pressure here will let the input air to flow through this output directly here okay so that output is now being continuously monitored through this uh, p not pressure value okay so now to obtain the control here what is done so there are two bellows used one is on the left hand side and another one is on the right hand side and they are fixed on a we can say constant uh, fixed position which is called as a fulcrum so with that fulcrum uh, the beam here can move either on the left hand side downwards that is in the anti clockwise direction and here it can move in the upwards that is the clockwise uh, anti clockwise direction here or the clockwise direction here okay so now here what will happen so when the when we require a constant pressure okay so in that case so we have to keep the uh, x i value at a constant value so to do that this spring okay so this spring will be adjusted so as to get the required displacement of this flapper here so with that displacement it will be continuously giving the required output value but now suppose what will happen suddenly due to uh, unintended variations here the input increases input pressure increases so that input pressure is sensed and it is given to this bellow here so now what will happen to this bellow when the pressure inside bellow increases it will start expanding so because of because it is fixed at this position it is going to expand is this in this direction so it is going to push this side of the uh, beam towards downside so due to this what will happen so there will be a counter force acting on the right hand side which will move this flapper towards upper side so when it moves towards upper side what will happen here the nozzle uh, 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 this opening will be closed so because of that the pressure here will increase 
okay so because of increase in the pressure here the output pressure will increase so now this output pressure is again monitored and this is uh, obtained here so that uh, increase in the output pressure will increase in this below 2 here so when the pressure inside this below 2 p0 increases again here expansion will take place so now this will start moving in the opposite direction so when it moves in the opposite direction so because of that so here again this will move on the upper side and the displacement will again come to its original position so when the uh, required pressure and the set pressure are equal at that time the flapper will be in the original position if anything uh, changes in the input then the flapper position will uh, change because of which the output pressure will change and due to this presence of bellows here the controlling action is obtained that that feedback so this second bellow is itself called as the feedback bellow to which the input signal is given from this p0 okay so that is the output is fed back to bellow which will act as a feedback sensor okay depending upon its uh, expansion and contraction we can control the output value so in this way so feedback control of the uh, flapper nozzle amplifier works okay so now uh, sometimes we can also obtain the control with the help of electronic control and most of the time in the industries we find that the control action is usually with the help of electronic control and the actuator is usually the pneumatic, pneumatic type of control so now there has to be some mechanism which will convert the electrical signal into the pneumatic control signal so here we are going to see this practical application of the actual control controller which will control the actuator with the help of a co electronic controller ok so basically here is the uh, diagram of that controller so here this is the electronic part ok so here current will be used so this current will be corresponding to the applied input pressure so that input pressure ranges between the 3 to 15 psi so that pressure is nothing but between uh, in, in terms of current signal 4 to 20 milli amperes now depending upon this current value so the electromagnetic uh, coils are used one is uh, fixed permanent magnet and another one is this electromagnetic electromagnet ok so when the current in the coils of this electromagnet increases so due to that what will happen so this will also act as the same type of magnet and this permanent magnet is also will act as the similar type of magnet because of which the two magnets will start repel, repelling each other so repulsive force will increase as the current will increase so when the current will increase so what will happen so repulsive force will increase and this beam will move away from the fixed permanent type of magnet so because of this movement so with with respect to this fixed fulcrum so this side of the beam will start coming uh, downside so it will be experiencing a downward force here so due to which what will happen so here this nozzle will be closed or you can say less opening will be available now because the flapper will be coming closer to the nozzle area so due to which what will happen the pressure here will increase and this pressure here will be sensed uh, output pressure only but this pressure is again sensed here with the help of this bellow so if the pressure increases again this bellow is going to expand so expansion in the bellow will help the uh, here whatever displacement had changed from the original value to come back to its original value because of the expression expansion of this uh, bellow here ok so as the output will be causing uh, increase in the uh, pressure of the output will be causing the bellow to expand so it will move the flapper to its original position as it was in the equilibrium condition thereby controlling the output to its original value required value here ok so this is how the uh, electronic control will control the actuator so basically with the help of a simple current signal and the electromagnet so the control of the actuator can be obtained with the help of this electronic control system so here this signal is given by the electronic uh, controllers ok so that 4 to 20 milliampere signal will be provided by the electronic controller ok so here is the explanation it has been mentioned earlier that the controller used in process control is usually electronic and for actuation pneumatic uh, actuator actuation of pneumatic actuator is the preferred uh, thus there is a need for converting the electrical signal oftenly used 4 to 20 milliampere from the controller to pneumatic of 
3 to 15 psi signal such a scheme is shown here it is similar to that one shown in figure above but except that here is an electromagnet and a permanent magnet on the left hand of the link there was only a bellow mechanical bellow was used here it is uh, a, a electromagnet the current flowing through the electromagnet causes a force of repul repulsion between the electromagnet and the permanent magnet an increase in current through the coil increases the repulsive force thereby moving the link upward on the left hand side and decreasing the gap between the flapper and the nozzle the feedback action causes the uh, increase in the output pressure and brings back the link in its equilibrium position ok so now the last part of this components of pneumatic control is valve positioners so valve positioners are very popularly used in many of the uh, process controls so we have to control the output at a particular value so for that we can use the positioner positioner valves uh, which will be kept at a particular value so now again the positioner valves are of two types one is direct acting type another one is feedback type ok so in the in case of direct acting type which is shown here the control pressure creates a so here you can see the direct acting valve here so here the input air will be causing the pressure on this particular uh, diaphragm which will be connected to a spring here so now if the increase in the input pressure occurs so the diaphragm will be expanded on the downward side so because of that the spring will be uh, uh, this compressed and this uh, will move the valve towards lower side thereby controlling the flow here output flow so we usually want a fixed value so therefore we have to apply a fixed psi value here if the psi value uh, decreases or increases the output flow will change so once we fix this air pressure value if uh, if you, there is a continuous supply of the air pressure with the same psi value then we will get a fixed output flow rate so this is how we can obtain the uh, direct control of the uh, direct control of the output here so without any feedback ok but sometimes we have to make sure that the output is exactly what we were expecting so therefore uh, feedback type of uh, uh, positioner valve also are obtained here so here is the diagram for that uh, positioner valve with the feedback mechanism so here there are uh, there is another cylinder used to do that feedback part ok so which will be acting as a feedback element in this particular operation here ok so again the same principle here so the input is applied from this side depending upon the pressure so here the diaphragm is going to expand so depending upon that the spring is going to move downside so it will mu push the uh, piston in the first cylinder here there is a one cylinder uh, principal cylinder here so the piston are moved downward so because of that what will happen so in the say uh, the pressure input pressure is at the expected level or the constant level in that case what will happen so here there is a vent input uh, uh, vent for 20 psi air pressure and there is a vent for the air to go out and here is also there is a vent which will take the air from this side and air from the lower portion of the power cylinder so now when the normal operation is obtained these vents are closed by the piston rings ok so they are not open for either the 20 psi vent is also closed and the output vent is also closed here so now but when the pressure increases the spring expands and it will push the uh, piston towards downside so due to which what will happen so this central chamber will be now open to the 20 psi air pressure and the upper will be open for the vent ok so now when the central portion of the cylinder is open for the 20 psi pressure so this will uh, this pressure will be entering in the lower portion of this power uh, cylinder here so here when the air pressure increases here it is going to push this cylinder uh, this piston upwards so when this piston is moved upwards so this piston will uh, move the air available here through the vent here ok so whatever air is available and also piston movement will be moving the valve here so there is a valve which will be connected between the two plugs so this valve will be either opened or closed so depending upon this piston position here so as the piston moves upward so here valve uh, will be closing more and more so uh, that will be sensed again that the there is a decrease in the output but also at the same time this same cylinder uh, piston will be connected to the feedback link so this feedback link what it does it will just push the spring towards upper side directly as the cylinder this piston moves upwards here 
so this will move the this feedback link also upwards so due to which what will happen whatever contraction in the spring had uh, expansion in the spring had taken place earlier due to increase in the pressure now that will be uh, going back to the original position so therefore it will move back the piston in the principal cylinder to their original position closing the uh, ps 20 psi went and this output went thereby maintaining the constant output value from the output went okay so this is how uh, the feedback valve positioner working is obtained okay so with this particular i uh, have uh, covered the types of uh, various pneumatic components which are very uh, you can say popularly used in various process controls and these are very important topics i hope you all understood the concept for more understanding we need to see the video once again until you understand this and prepare for yourself by referring the available uh, notes which i will provide in the google classroom okay so till then happy learning thank you